Today is August 10th, 2017, and today is also the first day of my development log for Knife. Knife is my uh, mobile game I'm developing right now. Knife is not the official name, Knife is the project name for my uh, for the game because it's really early on in development, so I don't have a finalized name yet, so that's why I, I called it Knife, and why it's called Knife will, be, will become more clear in future. But welcome, my name is Paul, I'm a game developer from the Netherlands. I want to take you on a journey of making a game from start to finish. Today will be all about setting up my hack and plan. Uh, I was reading some, some Facebook posts from another game developer about how he used Trello to uh, keep track of his project and I used that in the past as well and then someone commented on that saying that he used hack and plan which is something like Trello but specifically made for game development. So I thought why not check it out. So a little more about Knife, my mobile game I'm developing. Um, Knife will be developed in Unity in Unity 2D to be more precise. And it's called Knife because, so a little backstory, uh, when I was thinking of this game, uh, I already shelved two, no, three other games uh, before this one. Uh, I started with a mobile game and then I made two non-mobile games. Well, I did not make the full game, but I prototyped the game. Two out of those three I got stuck on really fast. Uh, I didn't think the core mechanic would be fun to play, maybe I will revise it some other day, but... And one game has a little potential, but that out of the way. Um, knife. So I was thinking about mobile games, where you always control the game with your finger, or uh, maybe tilting the phone or something. But I was thinking, what if your finger becomes part of the game? And uh, I think everyone played those, those stupid games in, in elementary or in high school or whatever where you flick coins to each other's knuckles, or maybe the knife game where you put the knife between your fingers. Uh, I don't know what the game's called, but... So I was thinking, what if your finger is part of the game, so your finger is is the player of the game, and you need to evade knives and, and maybe shurikens or, or cheese graters or something. When your finger hits the knife or something, you see blood on the screen to indicate that your finger is cut off. So that was the, the thought process behind Knife. And I have a little prototype right now I would like to show, uh, which is really bare bones. There is only one knife in the game and there is a fingerprint to indicate where the finger is right now. So I can see if the tracking is good enough um, right now. So uh, let's jump to the footage right now and I will explain more. Okay, so here in Unity you can see my game. Uh, I have it set up through Unity Remote 5 so I can uh, test the game on my phone while it's running on my computer, so I don't need to make a build every time I want to test it. Uh, it's pretty convenient if you, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, the game is uh, pretty simple. I will demonstrate it to you right now. Uh, for the time being, I will put this knife in to explain what it does. So the game is as follows. Um, the little fingerprint icon right now is to uh, indicate where my finger is, so I can track it easily on the screen. Uh, but as soon as you put your finger down, the timer will start running and as soon as you let go of it, the timer will stop. It, the game is about keeping your finger on the screen as long as possible so you cannot take your finger off uh, and the, because the timer will stop. But yeah, it's really easy if there is nothing, uh, no danger in, any, in, the, in the game. So uh, in the bottom right there is a knife and, that's, and if I run my finger through the knife, the timer will also stop. Uh, because yeah, my finger is now cut off. So these two two variables uh, will make the challenge in the game. That's how far the game is right now. Uh, it's in really early stages. Uh, I only have two art, art assets and the, the blue background is just the default Unity background. Um, but yeah, you, know, you have to start somewhere. But to keep track of everything I need to do, I like to track everything in some some list or something. But then hack and plan came into my path and I uh, yeah, I wanted to try, try that out. So um, yeah, let's check out how I can use it and how it works. I don't even know how it works. Hopefully we, we will learn something together. Let's go. So this is the hack and plan page I created uh, for Knife. As you can see right here, it's called Knife. And it's a game about keeping your fingers. Right now I am the only member and this is yeah, it's a default milestone. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, I'm going to create a new milestone. And I think milestones are like big, yeah, 
milestones to work towards. So milestones be, uh, contain multiple tasks. That's how I think it should work. So the first milestone I'm going to create is uh, start date will be today, uh, August 10th, and due date, let's put it, I don't know, 18th, next month, uh, next week. So let's create a milestone and let's see how this works. Okay, so right now we are in the milestone and we can see uh, our planned tasks, our tasks that are in progress, some that are uh, in testing and the completed tasks. We can also organize them in what category they belong to. So if it's programming or other design or something. Um, so let's add a task. The title for the task will be knife movement. Uh, I will be the assigned user. It's for programming. It is a feature. It's a Alpha version. It's actually pretty in depth. If I uh, see right now, you can really, really go in depth in all the task design elements. I don't know what that is. Platform, iOS, do it. I'm not going to do a description right now. I'm just going to create a task. Let's do another one. And now let's do a art one, which is Shuriken art, which will be. Art, uh, let's see what's bright, because art is too, too broad of a term. Uh, it's a 2D sprite, so oh, that's pretty cool that it changes. That's pretty awesome. So it's a 2D sprite for the alpha version, blah, 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 platform. I'm not going to put it in every time, create. So right now you can see there are uh, two programming tasks and one art task. Okay, that's pretty cool. I have eight days left, it's alpha version. Okay, so I was looking if I could make this a, a public project so everyone can, um, can track my pro progress. That's a few feature uh, Trello does have, but um, they say they're working on it in the FAQ. When this becomes available, I will make this a, a public project so everyone can track my um, can track it. So that's how you set up a hack and plan page for your projects. Uh, it wasn't really thorough, but I don't know, maybe maybe some of you learned how to set up a page uh, due to watching me wrestling with the, with the website. Uh, I think it's a lot of potential. Um, uh, the problem for me with Trello is that I never, I always make a nice Trello page with all the tasks and then I never look at it again. So hopefully I will I'll keep coming back to this page and uh, really keep it up to date. And because if I know I need to do something like the behavior for the knife, so it will work properly uh, in my head, it, that's a really big task. So it's it's really easy to pro procrastinate that. So it's like, ah, oh, it's too hard right now. But if, if I use tools like this to pull the task apart, so first I need to create the art for the knife and then I will create the, the behavior for the knife. And maybe later I will create something else for the knife. I don't know, uh, I don't know what. But if I if I pull the, the task apart to in, in smaller bits, that will be, that can be done in, I don't know, maybe half an hour or an hour, it's more likely I will do the task. So maybe my advice to you is really to look at the tasks you have right now and pull them apart so it, they become more easy and more more doable for, for, for a normal human like you. So yeah, thanks for watching. This was my first development vlog. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, maybe subscribe. And uh, if you have any feedback, you can comment down below. And uh, I will see you guys in, in the next video. Bye.